Alright, hey guys, this will be the second part on how to make a clicker game inside of Rock Studio. Uh, this will be an easy one, as this will just be a leader stat displayer here. It will just display how many clicks the player's got. Uh, so, inside of main GUI, inside of your starter GUI, you want to put in a frame. Uh, we're going to call this... Oh, we're going to call this... Um, click... Click display, maybe, or click GUI. Alright, just like that, click GUI. Uh, I'm going to position this like here and usually games have it pretty thin like that um, to make it look nice I'm going to add a UI corner and a UI stroke uh, change the uh, border from contextual to border change it to 4 maybe 5 whatever you want I'm going to change it to 4 and then inside of here we can add a image label so this will be like the little click icon maybe so we can just put that there and if you want to find one you can actually just go to the images tab in your toolbox and search up uh, mouse or maybe cursor uh, and I chose this one last time because it looks very nice so I'm gonna pick this I'm gonna drag it in and I see this right the decal is just added I'm gonna get the texture I'm gonna copy it you can now delete that, go back to your image label, scroll down, go to image, and then just paste it in. So just like that we have our little image. Um, but what we can do is set the background transparency to 1, and there we go. Now we want to add text so it actually shows how many clicks the player has got. So we're going to add a text label inside of the frame. We're going to position this like in the middle there there we go uh, just position this nicely so maybe there uh, turn off background no turn on set it to one background transparency go down and you're gonna change the font to whatever you want to fit the game so you want to turn on text scaled and you want to type down zero as no, nothing which you change in here like you could put in like clicks and it will just change anyway once the player has joined so if you now put in side text label a local script you're gonna type down now first of all we're going to reference uh, three things which will be the player stats and our currency um, so first of all you want to put in local player oh yeah and by the way this script will be in the description and paste bin so you can just copy from there if you want to but if you want to, like, you know, say that you actually write, wrote this script, you can do that then. Uh, local stats equals um, player uh, wait for child leader stats. And then you want to put in local clicks equals. Uh, stats uh, wait for child clicks and then we're going to go down twice and this will just change the text to whatever our clicks is currently set to so uh, script.parent.text uh, equals then just leave a space in there and just put in dot dot uh, clicks dot value then go down, you want to do clicks, uh, clicks, get property change signal, uh, value, and then uh, outside the brackets you want to put connect, function, and then inside of here, you do script dot parent dot text equals uh, space and then dot dot clicks dot value so this should be it for the script you just want to click apply uh, well I actually uh, spelt this wrong so I'm gonna change the leader stats uh, and then I'm gonna change uh, click apply edits now I'm gonna press play and now we're in and when I click this it should change that so let's just say we hit away the leaderboard and we click play or we click the button it'll just change so you can just click 
forever pretty much. Now I can, I can probably show you how to add a cooldown to to it just so people can't use an auto clicker. Um, but that'll be it for today's video. If this did help you in any way, I would really appreciate if you could like the video. Maybe subscribe because I am at 99 subs as of right now. Uh, so close to 100. And that should be it. Um, and as always, goodbye.